Hey everybody, this is Kirsten and in today's Deutsch Happen let's concentrate once again on the demonstrative pronouns. But of course last time I covered the singular more uh, in detail, so today it's all about the plural, so demonstrative pronomen im plural. Again, just uh, to get familiar with that, I put our uh, cases here on the left side, so you see nominativ, dativ and accusativ, and you have the genders over here, masculine, feminine and neutral. So to complete our chart, um, you can already see from yeah, having a glance at it that the plural is slightly uh, yeah, slightly easier than the singular, if you will. So, nominative plural masculine is diese. And as you can see, feminine nominative plural is also diese. And neutral is also diese. So, different than the singular, the plural, all three genders keep the same form, diese, once again. Now, if we switch this uh, to the dative, again, if we need um, an object in the plural, masculine dative is diesen, feminine is diesen, and neutral is diesen. So, once again, the same form, but, of course, pay careful attention that you have the extra N at the end. And, as you know, Dative, um, sorry, accusative is often the same form like the nominative. The same uh, applies here. Masculine accusative plural is again diese. Feminine is also diese. And neutral is diese. So, more interesting than the chart itself is how, again, we use the, the demonstrative pronouns in the individual cases than in our sentences. And as last time for the singular, I put over here at the end three sample sentences for you with each gender in the plural, of course, and then in the different cases. So, let's start um, with the, let me see, neutral, nominative, plural. Diese Brötchen sind lecker. So, diese Brötchen is nominative. Brötchen, das Brötchen, so diese Brötchen. And they are what sind lecker. Over to the next one. Diesen Personen vertraue ich. Okay, Person is feminine, die Person. And so we have um, the dative plural over here. Diesen Personen vertraue ich. I put it at the beginning just uh, to show you that we are a little bit um, flexible with sentence structures so that you can see also a demonstrative object can sometimes appear at the beginning of a German sentence. I could, of course, um, put it in the, let's say, structure you're most familiar with, starting with the subject. So, ich, then the verb vertraue and then who or what, or whom, actually, diesen Personen. Ich vertraue diesen Personen, if you want the subject, verb, object structure. Okay, and off to the last one, the accusative object in a sentence. What's missing is, you can guess it, masculine plural. And my sentence is, Sie sieht diese Kollegen jeden Tag. So you have your accusative object in the right position. Sie sieht diese Kollegen jeden Tag. So she sees who every day. Diese Kollegen, these colleagues. Masculine plural. All right, that's it for the demonstrative pronouns in the plural. Again, if you want to um, see them in the singular, check back for the previous um, video. 
join our discussion on Facebook. That's facebook.com slash deutschhappen. And you find us on Twitter when you tweet at deutschhappen. Okay, everyone, take care as always. Tschüss. Bye-bye.